All right, we are rolling. Good morning. Welcome back morning. to my YouTube channel. Wait, hold up. Hi, guys. <laughs> we are headed to FedEx, um, session one, day one. We're walking over from our hotel, which is literally five minutes down the road. How are you feeling? I like our hotel. I'm nervous. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I like our hotel. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm yeah. going to find road time. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to acclimatize and survive. No, I'm kidding. I was super excited. <laughs> Morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it is day two. Day two. We are leaving even earlier than we did yesterday. Yes. Um, actually, the sun's not even out, so I don't know why I got my hat on. We are going for a run with the Fairtex team, but we're probably going to do a shorter run than everyone else because apparently today is their long run day, and Smila's going to run for like 12k. 2k. <laughs> So we're not going to try and do the 12k. Yeah, 2k. And yeah, because we're actually kind of slow from day one. How did you find day one? Um, I went into full fight camp training after taking at least three weeks off. <laughs> so I feel fantastic this morning. <laughs> yeah. So basically slow everywhere. Um, we did two sessions yesterday. Morning session was more chill than the afternoon session. Um, but they're both pretty hard actually, like the pad runs are pretty long, they're five minute rounds and you get assigned a coach when you come in, we're just walking through the hotel. So yeah, coach takes you through your rounds and they do some bag work and if you have any training partners working with you, you do some clinching and sparring. But we did sparring in the afternoon yesterday. Yeah, five minute rounds. Um, five minute rounds, yeah. Everything's five minute rounds, you get a minute break. Do five five minute round pads and then you finish off with just continuous clinch or another five rounds of sparring. Yeah. Yeah, so five minute rounds of sparring, clinching. Actually there's no break in the clinching. Like me and Ty were just clinching through. Yeah. She says it's normal for them to just clinch for twenty minutes straight. Um, we did fifteen yesterday because we're still acclimatizing. So yeah. Now we get to go for a run and see how that goes. We get to go for, you mean we are forced to run? <laughs> we have to run. No, I'm kidding. We are excited. Um, yeah, the run should be pretty nice because it's actually running along Pattaya Beach. We're not going to be... Oh, cat! Hi, Kato! Morning. Morning, little one. Morning. Oh, two cats. Where's the other one? Oh, hey. Hey, over there. Got distracted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're walking to the gym. We live literally like five minutes down the road. Matt Lucas is waiting for us to run. Um, drop our stuff off. Apparently there's like a crew that catches up in the morning or they go and do their own run. Yeah. And that's about it really. Off to the gym we go. Bye guys. <laughs> we are pulling up to Vertex. That was a quick walk. Are you ready for your run? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd just show you guys the gym as we walk through. Um, I'll just turn the camera around so you can see. Okay, it's a pretty nice like grand entrance actually. It looks like a hotel. Um, well, we thought it was a hotel when we first got here. Look at it. It's so grand. It's so grand. Isn't it's it grand? So grand? It's so grand. <laughs> So walk straight through to the gym. This is front desk on the left hand side. Got the Hall of Fame, all the belts. Yo! So usually there's a manager over here in front desk. He'll be able to give you a pass when you guys are here looking to get your class passes, so you can get class passes for Muay Thai classes, single sessions, 10 sessions, one month, and then mm -hmm. same for BJJ, and then use of the gym as well, which is here. They've got a really good, fully equipped weights gym too, it's one over here, clean. and really clean, yeah, and yeah. one down over there. Oh, it's pretty dark at the moment. 
bag area, nine boxing rings. We're pretty early, so the lights are still all off. Um, we'll show you guys more of it when the lights are on and when it's a bit more sunny. But we're just here to drop our stuff off. Yeah, yeah. nine rings. Nine rings. It has nine rings, a cage. Um, it's really big. <laughs> It is really it's big. Really you can have a look at it now. Like it's like one, two, three, four, five, six boxing rings here, and there's three more on this side. And MMA, BJJ down to the end over there where the mat area is. More weights. That's hot. Sorry, today. That's cold. Oh yeah. Whoa. Water so clear. <laughs> Is it cold? Not really. It's okay. Do you guys just soak your legs? Uh, you can go all the way in. Wow. Try. I'm not a fan of ice or cold. Oh, I love ice, Do you? Wow. Cool, cool. It's pretty sad, isn't it? Whoa. Yeah, I wish we had one. Hi guys. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning everyone. Day three. three? Day three. Yes. Yeah. Day three. We're doing our morning walk. I feel like we only talk to the camera every time we do this walk because we get carried away with the rest of the day. Um, we're going for a run, so second day running. How do you yes. find the run yesterday? Uh, it's enjoyable. Mm. It was hot. It was hot. Yeah, we ran along Pattaya uh. Beach. We didn't actually do that super long run that everyone else was doing. Yeah. Um, we just did to the Hilton and back. We did a baby run. We did a baby <laughs> run. We're still, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can make it through the two sessions and run 12k yesterday but training is getting easier mm, yep training's yeah. getting easier um you would hit five five so that's just like the regular now yeah. five minutes um per round of pads five rounds and a lot of clinching i did lots of clinching yesterday a lot of clinching a yeah lot of clinching. just a lot of it's just uh, there's always something extra to do Oh, yeah, I, I know. Say. It's just like, if you're sitting down, you're in trouble. Yeah, they're like, oh, you're going to spy now? So yeah, you're like, get you're up. You're doing now? 60 kicks. You're like, why? Okay. <laughs> I just okay. finished clinching, but okay now. Um, but it's really cool. Like, the coaches and everyone are really friendly. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Tuesday, Thursdays, no, Tuesday, Saturdays, they've got boxing sparring now. Yeah. We, uh, did you boxing spar yesterday? Yeah, uh, YGK. Yeah. So it's about YGK all of yesterday. Nice. Um, oh yeah, you did it with MMA too. Yeah. <laughs> so random. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. Everyone's quite at a good, good level. Uh, yeah. yeah. Quite technical, and there's like, uh, there is a level for everybody there mm. uh, to accommodate you. Yeah, true. So whatever level you are, like the gym is really accommodating. Um, I didn't do boxing sparring because so I was doing my pad rounds yesterday during the sparring time but then i did clinching after so we do like 15 20 minutes of clinching straight there's no break in between mm -hmm. and then you expect to do your conditioning after yeah and um, we did english class in that yesterday as well with the fighters oh, we did too. We yeah did that too. was super cute yeah ferrari learning how to speak english yeah, yeah. and junior junior is really good yeah. um so yeah and so junior, now we're <laughs> junior teaching ferrari how to speak english yes <laughs> So we are off to session number one in the morning. We got our weights in yesterday as well. So that was good. Strength equipment and everything at Fairtex is good. Yeah. Um, you can pretty much get your strength program done here, no problem. There's also cardio equipment. Yeah. Um, oh, there's an ice bath and a hot bath as well yesterday. There is, there is every Tuesday and Thursday morning, there's an Saturday. ice bath. On Saturday? Yeah, I think it's Tuesday oh. and Saturday. Or maybe it was Thursday, I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. so we are off. Hopefully more acclimatized. Oh, and my opponent changed <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, um, and, and Spring's also part of an eight-man now. <laughs> There's so much going on. Um, <laughs> but my opponent changed, and so now I'm fighting a Thai girl. Yeah. Um, not going to panic. I, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Everyone's like, the vibe's really nice at Fair Texas. Everyone's just, honestly, just busy doing their own thing. Yeah. And everyone's just trying to improve. And yeah, so it's... It's really like productive and like 
conducive environment for Muay Thai? I think the most intriguing part for fighters, I would say, for uh, if you were to train at Fairtex, uh, there is a pathway to making to get into one championship. Um, the stepping stones that they have put down uh, are very inviting, um, and don't seem doesn't feel so out of reach. And then you are you are training with everyone who was who else is also chasing that goal, um, which is always even better for you. So yeah. if that's something you want to do, if that's something that you're looking at doing, um, yeah, I would say come to Fairtex. Yeah, so the direction and like what you said, like the stepping stone um, is very clear, the pathway here. So you do well in the local shows like Fairtex fights, um, they'll move you up to one Lumpini, do well one Lumpini, and of course you're on the road to go to one. Um, but yes, it is, it's very clear, like, what your path is here. And yeah, if you don't want to fight, of course, you can come here and just train. But um, it makes it simplified and also like a really common goal for all the fighters here. Yep. And everyone talks about it in the same way too. Like, okay, now I'm aiming for this, I'm aiming for one Lumpini, then I'm aiming for one. So it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And saying that, we're at the gym. Oh, hello, Herm. <laughs> We are at the gym already. Okay, so we're just gonna put our stuff down and then we're gonna go for a run down the beach. Bye. What, babe? Oh. Goodbye. Celeste! Hello! Hello! <laughs> How's training? The post training waddle. waddle you walk in waddle, front, waddle. thank you. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> waddle, 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 waddle. <laughs> I'll so, catch up. What was it like getting flung around by Ferrari? I didn't get flung around. <laughs> I'm more like flu. <laughs> I had a, I had an M150 before class. I was like willingly. I was like, oh yeah, this is like Red Bull, so like it'll give me wins. That's not what I actually meant. Yeah, <laughs> more like you've, you were light worker. This is me. Yeah. Where's yeah. River? Where's yeah. River? Yeah. Yeah, Ferrari is in the middle. <laughs> Ferrari is like, yeah, Nina, okay, you fall over. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> this is the walk back from the gym. Yeah, so it's a little bit slower, a little bit more limpy, a little um, bit more sad. When you realize where your Muay Thai stands. Yeah, I was trying to be positive for this film, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, day three, session number six. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what do we do today? Same thing. Yeah, so pad rounds. Did you do five rounds of five again? I, yeah. yeah, five rounds of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five rounds of five. We did bag work. Yep. And then we did a heap of clinching today. I did like, I think a thousand knees on bag. <laughs> So we gotta catch up and keep up with the ties. So yeah. they do they do three rounds of um, five minutes of just kneeing the bag. They do? Yeah. Oh I gotta do that then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. Let's add that into tomorrow's need to do's. Yeah. Um yeah, today was good. I think acclimatizing, but then I mean the ones you acclimatize they ask you like they ask more of you. Yeah. So like starting the round with 30 kicks, I was like Yay! Yeah. I'm okay! I'm not dying! And then one technique gets better, you're like, oh, cool! It's and fantastic. Then just and then goes downhill. something else happens, and you realize, oh, there's another technique to learn. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Um, but it was good, yeah. It was so busy. It's nice to watch all the ties hitting pads, and even the foreigners, like, everyone's just on another level. Um, but progression wise, and I guess benefits is after six sessions, I think for both of us, the quality of our training, or quality of our own technique is mm. going oh, yeah, substantially definitely. better. Mm. Um, yeah, I feel like I've improved uh, three times fold, um, and we still have another week and a half to go. Yeah, I think it's just that repetition because like, um, like my coach repeat something until you get it so it's like really simple so you know one two or a jab tee or it's a roundhouse kick like it's something really simple but 
it's repeated every session until he's happy with it, yeah. um, which is good. And it gives you feedback on like, hey, <laughs> feedback on what you need to work on as well and just little things along the way. Um, but yeah, like the coaches are so helpful, like when we're clinching and stuff, they're giving us tips, making sure that we're on top of understanding how the scoring works as well. Because, you know, they don't just think about scoring and stuff in the clinch, think about damage, like how you need to show damage or actually try and damage someone <laughs> in the clinch. Um, yeah, actually try and show them. No, not oh. show damage, actually I damage thought, someone. Isn't that fighting in general? Spring? Oh my God, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think another a really good benefit is actually being surrounded by uh, high quality mm. and being immersed in all of it. You just you soak it in, or you soak all of it in like a sponge. Yeah. Um, yeah. You just learn. You just learn so much more. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the vibe of it. Like everyone's trying so hard, and you can yeah. obviously see right in front of you someone that's so much better than you. Um, and yeah. it really makes you want to push, like push harder try and emulate their technique, their yeah. sharpness. You just like, you pick up the mm. small things that they're doing. Mm. Um, and then you're able, because it's a five minute round and you're doing it so regularly throughout the day, um, you're able to implement and change your technique uh, straight away. That's true. Yeah, that's true. It would take you so much longer if you were, you know, trying to do this back in Melbourne. Yeah. My arms are actually so tired from clinching oh. that like, my, I can't actually hold the camera. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm all right. I'm not dying. Right. <laughs> uh, I clinched with Ferrari, so my arms. <laughs> you flew. <laughs> Rainbow does give you wings, guys. <laughs> Just not the way that you think it does. Tomorrow we're doing boxing sparring, so wish us luck. Um, yeah. Probably, I don't know how I'm gonna go. This Thai girls look really good. Mm. Um, String was saying that like, oh yeah, um, there's like a pecking order, so you start. They train and just picks everything for you. So yeah. you start with this person, and yeah. then as you get better, you then move they up. They move you up. up. Yeah. yeah. And then this guy that. just walks up to Ferrari <laughs> hey, and is like, can I spy Hey, bro, <laughs> you want to clinch? Yeah. But like, we were kind of really chatted to him yesterday um, at the English class that Matt was running. So, yeah, he's, he's super funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, at least now you know where you stand and yeah. how much more improvement yeah. it, you know, there needs to happen. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I know where I stand at the bottom. <laughs> so let's go back up to the bottom again. <laughs> um, yeah, and everyone's really like, yeah, they're all really friendly too. Like the people are super friendly. They want yeah. to talk very to you. Very welcoming. They're super welcoming. Yeah, yeah. Very, very welcoming. And it's always like snacks after class. Like today we had chocolates yeah. and then yesterday we had watermelon. <laughs> um, yeah, generally like the fighters are so welcoming. Mm -hmm. So are the trainers too. Yeah, the trainers are really good too. Uh, yeah, cramping? accommodating. No, 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 my shoulder's strong. Oh. I have strong shoulders. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. But if I move from this position, I think I'll drop the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, tomorrow's not a day. We're gonna start with a longer run tomorrow. We're gonna try. What do you mean we're, we're starting? What do you mean we're starting with? Hey, what do you mean we're starting with? What do you mean we're starting with a longer run? So we're run? running to the Hilton and back. I think we'll run like Hilton plus a few buildings and back. You know, just a little bit. We gotta start keeping up with these guys. And I don't know. They're doing fighting is a today, personal but... journey. Okay, <laughs> fighting is a personal. It's not journey. a team. It's not We're a not team a team, sport, right? So if you see someone else doing that, you don't have to do it. Yeah. Please, I'm gonna get lost in Pattaya. <laughs> okay. All right. This is where I'm signing off, guys. <laughs> All right. Day three. We're going back. We're just gonna go plop and become sloths for a little bit. Um, We'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Morning. Hi. <laughs> Up before daylight again. <laughs> yeah. We're starting even earlier. Let's just turn the camera around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Hi. Hi everyone, it's day four. It's day four? I know, it's Thursday. We are starting off a little bit earlier. We're going for a longer run. Um, Can you explain yeah. why please? <laughs> I don't think people need to know this, okay? All right, they okay. Do. I'm do. a little bit anxious. <laughs> I'm just a little bit. The moment I sit down and not move, I just get anxious again. Mm. I'm fighting next week and my head's playing games with me. Yes. Um, so that means we go for a 42 <laughs> today. So once I, I get moving, <laughs> once I get moving, I feel better. So 
yeah, so now, therefore, we're up and moving, and I'm probably going to feel really tired later because I've just ran off all my anxiety. Um, but yeah, on the plus side, it's a nice morning. And I'm being dragged along. <laughs> River's willingly waking up. He did not get dragged along. Willingly waking up. <laughs> <laughs> How's your arm going? <laughs> my arm's cramping. Ow. Uh, we had a massage yesterday, though, actually. Yeah. Message is good. Um, yeah, I think I'm really, really focusing on my recovery. <laughs> but I'm not doing ice baths, not putting my foot down. I'll soak my toes in it. What makes you more anxious, the fight or the ice bath? The fight, for sure. Like, I dreamt that my opponent was like six foot two and I was like weighing in. And I was like, are you sure she's the same weight as me? And then they were like, yeah, but I was like, looking up at her, I'm like, but she's massive. What would make, what would be more like rewarding, an ice bath or the fight? Still the fight. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Would you like conquer your anxiety if you were able to like have an ice bath? No. Why? You know how I conquer anxiety? By winning fights. <laughs> so easy, it's the loop of adding more pressure to yourself because you don't win. Now we're really anxious for the next one. And then, yeah, so now I'm tired now. Um, <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Here, pass it back. Um, what else are we doing today? Actually, I never know. I'm going to take a nap. Oh, yeah, we have been having really good naps in the afternoon. Basically, come finish training, go have Today's food. Thursday. Yeah, and then sleep for as long as we can. <laughs> and back to training again. Yeah. yeah. We would be able to sleep more if we were like, not waking up so early to go for a run. No. <laughs> hey, last night we went to Pattaya, like the walking street, and I was overwhelmed. Petrified. But... <laughs> overwhelmed, okay? Petrified. <laughs> but there was this cute cat at the end of the street, so right. kind of made it worth it. Right. Okay, so everything <laughs> else related to pussy is not... It's not a cat related thing. I don't like this place. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm glad we're staying in like the cleaner area in Pattaya. The gym is actually located in a nice, clean area. Um, cleaner. Cleaner area. Yeah. yeah. But it's been cool. Like, oh yeah, yesterday Mr. Wong made like this announcement thing. Did we tell them already about like the bus and oh, I need double hand support for my arm here. It's okay. I got it. Um, we're taking a bus to Bangkok on Saturday morning for the One Championship show. Stamp is fighting Anissa, so we're all going to support her. Waking up at 4.30. No, we're leaving at 4.30. Uh, so, we're at <laughs> so we're meeting at the lobby at 4.30 a.m. Um, and he's preparing sandwiches. <laughs> he's really cutely telling everyone how he had sandwiches ready. Oh, he wants to like buy 200 sandwiches, so he's got to start now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's Saturday. And that's it really. We've got like one, two more days of full training. I don't think there's training on Saturday because of the fight. All oh, going to Bangkok. And... Sorry? It's going to make you very anxious. Well. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. It's like... Yeah, I was just gonna just, I don't know, go for a run or something. It's, yeah, I don't know. I'll work it out later. If anybody knows how to deal with anxiety, let me know. A nice spot will help. <laughs> it's shock your system. It's your shock your system. Straight, I don't want to go and do a nice system. Oh. All right, I might try it. The next time they have it here, I'll try it. Okay, I'll just jump in for two seconds and get out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're at the gym. Bye, everyone. Bye. Day four. See you later. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> now we get to see the pit bull in action. <laughs> Oh, we're here again. Is that ice? Is that cool? It's hot. I like hot. Hot's good. What else is there? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Means a burger. Oh, burger. Oranges. The best things ever. And fries. My my neck hurts so much. But at least you got fries. I did this neck exercise, and now I'm lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even eat the fries. Hey guys. Hello everyone. <laughs> welcome uh, back to my YouTube welcome channel. Welcome back. My name's Spring <laughs> So it is day five, it's day Friday, five. Um, we just finished training so day we didn't do five. this whole um, morning walking to the gym thing. We actually ended up running with the FedTech team this morning so that was cool. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, we did nine kilometers I think. Is it nine? I thought it was yeah. 12. No. <laughs> 12 is the long run so they have like two runs. Run yeah. So they do like a shorter run which is 9k and then they do a 12k run and they alternate between the two apparently. Um, this morning was nine and yeah, it was fun actually. Yeah, a lot of fun. So last night I went out for dinner with Smila, Aaron and Ty and they were just saying, well, come to the run in the morning with us and we'll show you the way around all that stuff. So we just went with Smila this morning. He ended up running with some Thai boys and the trainers at the front at some like ridiculous pace. Um, well, they just said keep up, so. <laughs> It's all good. I was running with Mila and I was pretty happy. I already felt like I was going to die. And then we ended up going for the regular training. And my coach was like, all right, you're tense, you're tired and you're sore and you're slow now. And I'm like, I hate my life. <laughs> but yeah, so try again in the afternoon. I am feeling a little bit fatigued, but it is Friday. I'm starting to like watch what we're eating and stuff because the salt and sugar isn't actually great for anything. Oh, yeah. the guys are here. Wait. Hello, hello, hello. Whoa, that's cute. This is fruit guy. Wow. That's the cutest coconut. I love the papaya. <laughs> and the pineapple looks good too. Yeah. Yum. Everything is 20 baht. <laughs> Everything's 20 baht. See you in the afternoon. Bye. Hey. How are you feeling? Getting there? Yeah, I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit. So yes, we're going back to the hotel. We're gonna relax for a little bit. Um, try and do better in the afternoon. Ouch. <sighs> At least we don't have to do a night to run. In the afternoon. Yeah, honestly, that work, that run before the workout. Yeah, yeah, the run was out. like pretty hard because um, they did like little sections of it. So you run a little bit, you walk, and then you pick up the pace. You run a little bit faster, and then you walk, and then last little bit is like a sprint. Yeah. And yeah, my legs were pretty fried, <laughs> but I'm happy we did it. So at least that's the standard, and we know what it is now. Um, we don't know if we're going to one tomorrow because Stamp is currently not fighting. She doesn't have an opponent. Yeah. So the whole Fairtex bus thing might not happen. Um, but yeah, so we'll just play it by ear, see what happens, and take it from there. <laughs> He's pretty dead. Um, yeah, that's about it really. What else has happened? Clinching was good, yeah. No, oh, clinching was not great. Clinching was good. It's hard, but it's good. Like, you just do 20 minutes straight still. Yeah, and they, were, yeah, they just hang on your neck and make <laughs> you feel like a rookie. <laughs> a lot to learn still. So we're just gonna go recover, and we're gonna try and eat some clean food that isn't salty, sugary, and all that kind of stuff. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Championship. Hey. Bus, 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 bus.
Right here. Right here. Super left. Right live. Run. I've never seen them like that. They're going to be like almost next to It's actually Sunday today. Um, Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday, but we are training because we had a public holiday on Sunday. <laughs> the Fairtex Prime Minister has decided that there was a public holiday on Saturday because everyone went to Bangkok to support STEM. By split decision, STEM. Yeah! We watched one championship yesterday. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of knockouts. Um, yeah, some pretty bad knockouts. Some crazy like, like wow. Yeah, and that guy who got his like knee, I don't know, twisted and broken in twenty spots. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's like twenty. <laughs> the Mongolian guy. I was like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna watch this anymore. It's too much. <laughs> BJJ is like, this is too much. You get to you get to say no more in BJJ. The guy never said no more. <laughs> That's really, yeah, no. Nah. Um, yeah, so Sunday training. We are walking to the gym right now, gonna get a run in. I'm actually starting to water load. Where is that big thing? I am fighting on Saturday, so it's all happening. Gotta do this hydration testing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go, I'm not too sure, but my weight is tracking down, so. It's a really interesting and grueling process, yeah. Yeah, it sounds really involved. Yeah. Um, yeah, we spoke to Ty about it and like some of the other fighters last, wait, a few days ago. I haven't been here for that long. Um, but I'm gonna have a chat to Jack, the combat dietitian today, tonight. I'm gonna give him a call and then he'll kind of talk me through the process that he takes his um, fighters through for hydration tests. So we'll see how that goes. How are you feeling about Sunday training? I'm here, I'm awake. I just want to die, I want to do well in training because otherwise, like, yeah, I feel like sometimes in Melbourne when I'm losing weight, like the last little bit, I, I start to... Is it really hurt you? Yeah, I start to feel it a little bit on pads and I feel like if I showed up today in training, the coach would be disappointed. Um, you think you're like that already? What do you mean? I just expect that. Yeah, but like, you know how last week, because we did this run last week, and like my legs are pretty fried after and we hit pads straight after and I was slower. Well, we public holiday yesterday. That's true. But then he was like, oh, you're slower, you know? And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh I God. I for a 12 and a half PB, so. Uh... Uh, I felt so bad. I was just like, no, like I will do better in the afternoon. Just let me rest a bit. Um, so yeah, a lot of nerves and everything, but it's all good. It's all tracking on, on track. Um, I also have anxiety. Yeah? I keep waking up and I'm a killer heavier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. So one of us is losing weight and one of us is not. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up every morning and I seem to be putting on another 500 grams. Yeah. Uh. Well, I think he's taking my weight and it's carrying it for me so that I can put it back on again. Um, after the weigh-ins. Thanks, babe. That's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. We don't know why he's putting on weight, basically. <laughs> he's eating so little. I mean, not little, like relatively little. Training so hard. Like, it, it makes no common sense. Um, I, I feel like Shamu. <laughs> but honestly, I, was, I put on weight when I came over, like three days in. Like, all of a sudden, my weight spiked by like a kilo. And I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I was gonna like, yeah, pretty much. I was just like crying by myself. I'm like, I'm a whale. 
and no, now I'm back down again. So um, it's actually not too bad, like, because I'm vegan. Um, I'm basically making like tofu salads for myself at the moment, managing the salt, managing the sugar and the fats. I think that's the thing because we were eating out and eating healthy, I thought, but obviously it was still a lot of salt and sugar in it and my weight was just fluctuating too much. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's okay. You're going to be okay. Yeah, and I haven't just checked my diet at all. <laughs> yeah, it's been like just eating like chicken rice and stuff, like just the, the normal things, but not like, you know, buckets of fried chicken every day. But I don't even, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, you're going to be like 80 kilos if you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not even, it's actually the opposite. <laughs> if I just eat air, I'll put on 5 kg. <laughs> You're like one of those memes. Me looking at food and put on weight. <laughs> He's a meme now. I just need to focus on thin, 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 thin but strong because if you don't perform in the pads, like you suck. So um, thin but strong. You're okay. We just got to the gym. All right, wish us luck. Sunday, it's almost fight week. I'm not nervous. You're nervous. I'm really nervous, but I'll be okay. Bye. Bye. Best thing. Hi yeah. guys. It's yeah. fight week. Fight <laughs> week. Yeah. What do we learn? Because <laughs> our arms are dead from clinching. Um, arms are dead from holding the camera. Yeah, my arms dead. You know what? It's because I it's because I lost weight. That's it. Yeah. yeah. My weight's tracking lower now. Yeah. We just finished training. We did our morning run. Um, session on pads. I only did four rounds today. My coach is like, man, you're smaller. I was like, yep, I am. <laughs> yeah. I did four rounds too. Oh, did you? Yeah, because my trainer was, uh, <laughs> oh, that's the word. That was a really, Googling? Yeah, Googling? Googling? Uh, Googling? No, Google eyes. Go yeah. Google eyes? He was like this, uh. Well, this. all the trainers were except my trainer because there was this pretty girl that walked in and then everyone was like, oh my God, there's a girl here. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, except my trainer. My trainer was like, where? Where? Oh, who? You? Whatever. Spring kick. Okay. Daddy kick. Daddy kick. Uh, I'm like, look at, the, look at what everyone else is looking at. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got one more session tonight. Yes. Can't believe it's five week. I mean, time has flown by, but kind of not at the same time. Like, a lot has happened, yeah. One more time, can you say that again? Time has flown by, but not really, because a lot has ha happened. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Yes, yes, it feels like it's been a month. Yeah, it does. It's been compressed into like one week. I'm like literally supporting my hand, like with well, two hands holding the camera. If you Sorry. think about it, we've done two months of training normally at home in one week. <laughs> that's like, true, that's yeah, true. Twice a day session. Very long rounds, a lot of pad rounds. For a minimum of two and a half hours each session. Yeah. Uh, I've ran more this week than I've ran in the last six months. Yes, <laughs> running is a must here. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm just glad to get through it, to be honest. Because now it's like water loading time, a bit of diet. I was feeling it this morning, and like, you know, just before the run. Maybe more mentally, like feeling fatigue. Um, but once you get going, it's like, oh well. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Just do your best, right? But I think like the greatest feeling is that you do 10 kicks, you're like, oh, that's a warm up now. <laughs> nah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 10 kicks last week, I'm like, sure. But this week, I'm like, please. Oh, please. Um, yeah, so food time, nap time, been making salads and stuff at the hotel. Because no salt, no sugar, what? Yeah, basically just eat air. Um, hydration test is still. A new thing we for both of us. Interesting. Yeah, because this hydration test at Fairtex fight and any other fight that you want to do here, yeah. like basically the, the bigger promotions. Yeah. And the idea is that you're not walking too far away from your fight weight so that you're actually still hydrated. Um, they, they basically force you to get down as close as you can mm. to your weight naturally, which yeah. is actually quite healthy for you. But then fighters make it unhealthy because to get through the hydration test, you technically have to do two water loads and two weight cuts within 24 hours. Which is a lot, because you normally, like, what we're used to, which is, I mean, it's not the healthiest thing, it's actually dehydrating yourself, you know. Yeah. In a short period of time, like, just 
get it all out, sweat it all out, and um, and then weigh yourself and then drink it all up again. But this one, you can't do that because if you do that, dehydrate yourself. Your pee is going to be dehydrated, and you'll fail the hydration test. And but yeah. then they've figured out ways, which we probably won't explain. Uh, <laughs> figured out ways to then bypass that, but then still be able to cut the water and also the weight. It's still like a really tedious process. Like it, it's not easy to do it. Um, there's basically two weight cuts, and I just don't want to be cutting so much weight. Um, I just, yeah, which I. Then, which then it's just too much. Still like. forces you to then either fight upper class, mm. or if you want to fight at your preferred class, then mm. uh, actually diet and. Yeah, so be, actually be smaller. Be actually a yeah. performing athlete, I guess, with all the rest of it. Yeah, so I mean, you don't want to be. Basically, the idea is not to be anywhere more than three kilos. I think heavier than your walk weight. Um, like the girls here walk around two to three kilos a bit like over their fight weight. Well, I think another thing that we're learning as well is the leader, ladder, ladder to get to one championship mm. um, is almost, it's almost uh, it's extremely easy to get to one. Oh, the, the if you pathway. perform well. I think, not that it's not the right word, but like, I think the pathway is making it easier to be a full-time Muay Thai athlete here in Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, with the frequent fights. With the frequent fights. Yeah. So you fight on Fair Tex, and then you go to a one Lumpini. And yeah. then after one Lumpini, then you get moved up to one championship, which is the yeah. global one. Yeah. Um, but Fair Tex fight and also one Lumpini is... Uh, is weekly mm. and it being weekly the bonuses for fighting on their shows one lumpini you get paid fair tax fight the money isn't very good but it's, you basically can make a living if you fight on one lumpini yeah. so it makes it very um exciting for the fighters here because they're actually getting paid yeah. to do it now so for example like fair tax fight is all about building your exposure mm. and then one lumpini you have bonuses of up to twenty thousand. Twenty thousand dollars American. Yeah. Mm. Twenty thousand American, which is if you perform well, they a give out three wage here. They give you three bonuses. For one fight per yeah. fight show. So the cards only like what ten fights. So yeah. three fighters will get twenty k bonuses on top of their pay. Mm -hmm. um, and to walk on, to walk on even just the fight, you have three uh, k. Three k mm. American. Three k. There's a one one thousand dollar knockout bonus, I think. Yeah. Um, or two thousand dollars the performance, the performance like bonuses. 20K. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is, yeah, exceptional for mm, Muay Thai Which fighter. is good, yeah, which is really good. I think it's just like the building blocks are there, like you can practice yeah. fighting in small gloves on Fairtex fight, obviously one Lumpini, everything's in small gloves, um, but yeah, there's pathways to do it, yeah. and, and then, you take your time step by step. Yeah, and then we thought it was only once a month, but it's actually... Every week. Uh, every week, <laughs> every week there's a possibility, so some of the foreigners are still getting uh, 10 fights a year. I know, and that's like little apparently. I was yeah. like ten fights. Yeah. That's a lot. Which is ten for me. Ten opportunities um, to make make bank in punching on mm, and get better and get way better. <laughs> Which I think after this week of training, I already feel a lot better. I hope it comes out yeah. my fight. The ceiling doesn't let's seem see. so high anymore. Really. Really. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Let's see how my fight goes. <laughs> that's been my journey. <laughs> I know. I'm like, it's been good, but also I'm stressed about my fight. Um, <laughs> All right, we're back. We're going to go nap and then get ready for our second session. For you. Hi, we're back. Good morning. We did like video before this, but that failed. Um, so now we're trying it again. It's Good Wednesday. <laughs> Really hot day today as well. I just feel like tired, yeah. It's lethargic. Yeah. About a kilo to go. I'm feeling the two weeks of heavy training now. Yeah, he's also feeling it. Yeah. Um, I'm not even cutting weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now we're resting, which should be good. Afternoon session, um, probably the same thing. It's just mostly not just getting down to weight, but staying hydrated at the same time for the hydration test. Mm. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, what did we do last night? We had dinner with Josh Tana. Yeah. 
and learnt a lot about one championship. Would you say ins and outs? I would just say um, like, like he's like yeah, because yeah, he's but, obviously gone through a lot. Yeah. Um, in his career, really like a lot of highlights in his career. So yeah. it's nice listening from someone that's you know going has been through all of it. And now he's like starting a new career as yeah. a judge. As a judge yeah. at one championship. So very congratulations cool. to yeah. him. Yeah, very cool. Um, very inspiring to see someone do something in Muay Thai after fighting. Mm, um, for sure. Mm, mm. Yeah, so we'll probably just catch up with Matt tonight, see what's going on when we're going to Bangkok. Yeah. But we're looking to leave tomorrow night, um, Thursday night. We originally had planned to leave Friday morning, but it seems that that might be difficult with Sping's weight cut. So, so we're looking to leave tomorrow night. I want to make it as easy as possible. Get comfortable. <laughs> yeah, as convenient and as And then possible. Sping can get shredded. Oh my god, I'm kilos ago. And a kilo's not a lot. Like honestly, in Melbourne, I'll be so happy if I was a kilo ago. And it's still two days, but it's just the whole hydration that makes it a little bit more. Um, stressful because you do need to walk around quite light to pass it. Mm. Um, but yeah, look, it's a, something that we wanted to experience and we're doing it. So. Yep. Um, so, have we talked about hydration tests? No. No? You basically need to be on weight, but you need to pee hydrated pee. So if you're yes. usually the way we cut, there's no way that we're peeing out hydrated pee. Like, there's yes. no pee. You're just so dehydrated. Um, not so dehydrated, but you're dying, but like, you're just dehydrated. Yeah. Because you're doing a sudden cut. But for this, you basically... Um, you have to be as close to weight as you can. As close to weight as possible. Mm. Um, hold water in your bladder that is hydrated. Yep. So when you pee it out, it passes the test and obviously you're still making weight. You don't want to do it too many times because you end up having to do like multiple weight cuts just to pass your hydration yeah. test. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you just want to get it right the first time. And we found out if you're fighting on one that you are fined on the spot if you are seen with a sweatsuit. Yeah, so All they don't saunas. want you to be dehydrated, yeah. so no sweatsuit, no sauna. Um, sauna is a band. Which is again, like, it's new, you know, if you guys, if you're, you're thinking of fighting a one, like, that's something that yeah. you need to worry about, not what I have to worry about. And then, that on top, you have, uh, you have, you have three chances. Mm. Um, if you fail the first one, it's a warning. The next fight, if you fail that two, it's a... 20%, 20 percent, 10 to 20 percent test. First time you fail, you're moving up the weight class. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Plus, um, we're back at the hotel. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go chill. See you in the afternoon. Bye. Bye. Or text fight or whatever promotion is on. So if you can sort of, sometimes it's like easy to think about like, okay, if I want to market myself, I just, you know, do. What do you do with your free time? I have a lot of pets. I've got three dogs, a cat, and a lot of fish. So, yeah, I spend a lot of time just taking them to the park and you hanging take out. Take your fish to the park. <laughs> 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 yes, I take all my fish to the park. <laughs> I have a trolley with the gold fish bowls. Dude, uh, so so talk like uh, maybe so uh, talk a little bit more about your pets, like. You know what? Talk like what are your dogs like? Do you have a a, a dog called Matcha, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A dog named Machi. Machi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's very special. He's got arthritis everywhere. So. His what? He's got arthritis <laughs> everywhere. Oh, arthritis. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that that's like that. You know, that's interesting though. It's like oh, I have. That's more, to me, that's more interesting than I have a dog. Yeah. It's like, I have a dog with arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I take him on a walk with the fish to the park, you know. But it, it's more interesting. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So, what about your cats? Nami, um, yeah, he actually walks in the lead too. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Adventure yeah. cat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a lot good. Of Weight cut time. It takes weight cut time. 700 grams to go. 100 grams? 
700. 700 grams? This could be intense for 700 grams, but there's this whole hydration thing that I'm stressed about, so. I like the red. Yeah? Thanks. Also, Isha got out this morning, so. Mm -hmm. We just had to deal with that. It's your child. Your adopted child. <laughs> he's escaped twice, and he's at a vet right now. Gets it from you. Jasmine. I haven't done that. Though. And Jasmine's gonna go pick him up, thank God, because they said pick him up before midday, and I was like, it's 7 a.m., like, it's plenty of time. And then I did the math, and I was like, half an hour. Crap, it's like less than an hour in Australia to go pick him up, so luckily we sorted that out. And then now we can go run. Are you excited? Apparently, Spring is excited for the run. Yeah. I'm just excited to be on weight, but hydrated. That's the key on weight, but hydrated. <laughs> Last day at Fairtex. Whoa, I hope this is working all right. Hi. Hi. Last training day, last day for weight cut. Um, we're actually leaving to Bangkok. 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 <laughs> Sorry. We're leaving to Bangkok tonight after training 6 p.m. We're going with Matt Lucas. Um, so we're just gonna pack all our stuff. I've only got 700 grams to go. I think I've said that before, but I need to be hydrated. So I guess the idea is to cut a little bit more so that I can drink water, be hydrated, but I'm pretty close to weight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going for a morning stroll. Uh, I'll be pretty slow. How <laughs> um, uh, has your experience been at Fairtex SB? Good. It's been two weeks. It feels like a lot has happened. Um, but yeah, overall it's been a great experience and very excited for, I don't know. I'm excited to come back and like you to have a fight and me, me? do the supportive role. Yeah. Not true? Yeah. I enjoy the supportive role. <laughs> I just want like... Next time I come back, I'll do all the eating. <laughs> I, watch, I watch all the uh, My arms crap. weight cut you're doing and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. It's a hydration test. It's the thing. Yeah. I don't know, man. Everyone's talking about the hydration test and then someone was like, oh yeah, I failed it like four times and I had to cut four times in a day and I was like, okay, yeah. I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, yeah, that sounds so stressful. Yeah. Well, no, that's on one, but like, you know, even on like Fairtex 5 and 1 Lumpini and stuff. That's a bit ridiculous. Like, yeah. So, that's my goal today. Actually, now I've got a new added goal. Isha to come home. Isha, my little dog. Um, make weight, pack, watch him train. Say bye to everybody. I'm actually going to miss everyone, really. Um, yeah. And people are really good. I'm gonna miss them. I'm gonna miss the coaches. Did it uh, revitalize your fire? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel like I was dead inside anyway before this, but um, yeah. It's, it's been definitely an adventure. So yeah, I'm really happy that we did it. And one more day. One more day. One more day. We'll see you soon. Hey guys, we're here. It's rain day. How are you feeling? Stress. Stress? Yeah. So you're pregnant? Yeah. Small.
Is it different between big glove and MMA glove? Uh, here we make it shorter. Yeah. And the okade, I don't roll it, I just uh, fold it. Ah, oh, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, what's happening? We are uh, backstage. How are you feeling? I'm great. Yeah, exciting. I have more to say, but I have nothing to say. Right? Okay, we're nervous. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> Hi everyone! <laughs> it is two days post fight. We are no longer in Thailand. We're actually in Malaysia. Um, we rushed back after the fight, took a flight home because it was Chinese New Year. So happy Chinese New Year to everyone around the world. Happy and Chinese New Year. So we thought we'd just close out the vlog because we haven't actually done that bit post Lumpini. It was all like, and now we're here. It was um, all like what's that? Like, like really rush. Can you do it again? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like fast forward. So we thought we'd just close it off with three things that were super memorable um, for the trip. Here you go, point number one. Point number one, Kenya Fairtex. Oh, that's a good one. That was, that was memorable. Mm. Hundred percent was memorable. Mm. I think it was inspiring. By all means, I was inspiring. It was, it was, it lit my fire. Hold it to say. you while you talk. Yeah. Yeah, it lit my fire. Again, it makes me want to push even harder. And I think back, back home. Back home, I was questioning a lot whether it was still something that I wanted to pursue, Muay Thai. But this definitely, definitely pushed it in the direction of train harder, work harder, and it's been better, be yeah. In it for <laughs> way longer, basically. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, highlight for me, I guess, just seeing what it's like to fight um, with Fetex at Lumpini and all that that whole process. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fighting at Lumbini? <laughs> fighting at Lumbini! <laughs> um, yeah, so like just now we actually know what the process is like. It was all like a big unknown for us and I was a little bit stressed 
and anxious about it, but you know, now we've done it, it's good to know and we'll be ready prepared for the next one. Would mm. you do it again? Yes, I would. Yeah. 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 It was a cool experience. Yeah. Mm. I think it was pretty inspiring. I was crying for most of it, so like... <laughs> um, I was crying in the back room, crying... <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Maybe another... Another thing I enjoyed was being a coach. Oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Being on the other side, I guess, uh, all the tips and tricks that I probably learned along my way, mm -hmm. helping you, being mm -hmm. ready for your your adventure, mm -hmm. um, that was fun. Yeah. And then, I think third, being a part of something I've dreamed to be a part of really soon, hopefully, is one championship, one Lumpini, seeing that, mm -hmm. like, in its spectacle, um, and seeing how close it is, mm -hmm. but also yet so far. <laughs> um, it feels far. It but... feels far. Yeah. But also, it just feels it's right, like it's right there. Mm. We just need to make some decisions when we get home. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, to be a part of that would be really, really cool. Yeah. So that's definitely got me going again. Buddy. Do I need to say one more? You said one. Oh, two, three. three I said three, three but three. now I'm like, maybe just two. <laughs> okay. What else did I enjoy? Um, oh, I really enjoyed being around a lot of other fighters and training alongside them. That was really cool. Just watching everyone strive and train really hard and everyone's just pushing the same direction, sort of. Like, um, yeah, same trajectory, hopes and dreams, all of the disappointments along the way and basically just working really hard. So that was really inspiring to be around that. It was, it was fun, I think. Mean. Mm. It was fun, rewarding mm. to be surrounded by people chasing the same goal. Mm. Mm. You know, it really did pick you up when you were tired. Mm. Um, yeah. And the motivation of everyone else. Yeah. Know, you can like really, this is just what we do. Like, yeah. You can really feel the team vibe. Mm. Um, everyone's, I guess, has their own goal, but together we have a very, we have the same goal. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Definitely, if you are wishing or willing to pursue a fight career, and it is Muay Thai, or any fight sport really, it mm. seems to be Thailand is the mecca for it. Yeah. And you should really just, if you are young, you're in the, like the prime of your career, it should definitely be part of your list to just come here for a long, a long period of like time. Like a long stint, yeah. Yeah. Uh, really build those relationships, mm. network, mm. Uh, and immerse yourself in all of it. Um, yeah, and definitely. like just being around, even like this, like the leaders of FedEx, you know, I think I wrote about that in the blog, but it was like watching Prem work so hard, watching Mr. Wong, you know, be there for the fighters, and just all that stuff was really inspiring just to watch the organization function as well. Um, watching Chatri make his speeches and like the hard work that goes into running one championship, being around Shane, Josh, how they talk about one championship, like all that, just like the biggest scale of things was super inspiring. Um, so yeah, like that was just overall super inspired, ready to work harder and yeah, it's try also again. Being surrounded by past, present, and future. Mm, mm -hmm, uh, true. People within the sport, mm. or just combat sports in general. Mm. Um, yeah. I guess it, yeah, I guess this trip really just inspired us to push further. Yeah. Uh, there's so much more to do. Yeah. Uh, so I think some of the conversations we were having at home is like, oh, there's limits. Yes. To, or there's ceilings to yeah. what we could do here back home. Mm. I reckon they, I guess, vanished or evaporated. Mm. Um, from, Traveling here. Mm. This is not our first time, but again, every time we come to Thailand, it seems to be like, oh, there's something extra that we can mm. do. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we were definitely planning to come here very, very soon. Yeah. Uh, trying to sort that all out, and we haven't even gotten home yet. I know. We're still in Malaysia for a few more days, recuperate. Uh, hopefully, my bruises go away by then. Yeah. Couple of fights to get through uh, Melbourne finish those fights, 
get those wins, spring. <laughs> Otherwise, you just find me in the corner listening to Tony Robbins sing whatever. <laughs> Honestly, like, again. And crying. I'm just so hard on myself. Like, oh, okay. really, I'm just so hard on myself. That was a fantastic fight. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, right. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to rest for a couple more days, fly back to Melbourne, love the pets, hug the pets, walk my goldfish, and yeah. hang on, mom. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the journey. Don't cry. I do all the crying in this group. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey. Magia.